The commissioning of the Komarok South Primary School in Embakasi Central brings to eight the number of public primary schools in the constituency, with each school accommodating at least 2,500 pupils. Boy child, boy child. The newly completed school opened its doors for the first time on September 26, 2022, less than a month to its commissioning. The school is, however, already full with 2,000 learners covering grades 1 through to 5 and class 7 already registered. We have a big challenge of places of learning for our students. Haiwezekani tuwe tu na shule miambili sitini ya primary na shule miamoja ya secondary school. Lazima tutafute sehemu ingine ya kujenga shule Ya uma. With a shortage of 200 classrooms in Embakasi Central alone, the school is set to help reduce congestion in the surrounding schools and save parents from the pain of having to pay exorbitant fees in private institutions. Beginning January, we are going to start phase one. We are going to have both teachers. We are going to employ some teachers on permanent and pensionable. We are going to employ the next lot on internship and progressively until the fifth year we will have filled all the positions and progressively we will make sure that there are enough teachers in our schools. Already grappling with the high cost of living, most residents here have had to send their children to private schools in the area. Those who cannot afford fees in private schools send their children to the nearest public school, which can sometimes be kilometers away. <laughs> The president challenging elected leaders in Nairobi to ensure that every child in the capital has access to affordable education. I want to ask every member of parliament in Nairobi County to work with us so that we can build minimum at least five additional schools in every constituency in Nairobi. With schools across the country facing early closure due to the prolonged drought, President Ruto has pledged to change the CDF Act to increase the allocation to environment from 2% to 5% in a bid to combat the effects of climate change. Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja took the opportunity to assure residents of the city that illegal and inhumane demolitions are a thing of the past, a directive echoed by Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa. Your Excellency, we agreed and we said as Kenya Kwanza, siku za ati umetoka kwa kwa subui, unarudi jioni, unapata kuna nyumba zimeisha. We cannot demolish houses in the same way it used to be done. Michelle Ngele Oviambo, K24 TV.